process than the creative destination. So no, right, right. when we're making something, even though I've made so many things and by the end I look at it and I'm like, this just doesn't look good. But then I reflect on my process and realize that I've learned about all five main core subjects. This this cohort has 41. 40. 40. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the second we're in the sixth cohort and there's a cohort of six. Um, So light comes in that window up there, hits this and... Hits this, 
goes onto the ceiling and goes in the ice. So right now, there's not much light coming in. Okay. So right now, there's not much. So you can see that like these lights are turned on to full, uh, not full volume, but they're pretty turned on. Sometimes, if there's much more coming in, like this, like the furthest light will be off, or it'll just be a little bit. So when it, is that in the afternoon that the sun comes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Before it used to be just one designated panel for the projector, which you couldn't use any other like writing instrument on. But now it just projects. It can project onto any surface, and you can use the calibrated like, pen to. Right. For, you? for everything? I mean, yeah, yeah, this is it. This used to be at, uh, what is this for? What, what do you mean? This is like a gym class. Oh. Get, get your legs in shape, right? Get legs in the football body. Football, football team's here in the morning. Like, before Where? school, I'm, I'm part of that. Oh, you're on the football team? Yeah. That's what they need to do. Quite a shock to catch him. Father of the game. Tuesdays and Thursdays where we do live news broadcast every two to three weeks. Uh, it's a great experience for them. It's, it's very, it teaches them the proper terminology, language of actual studio news production. We go out live, which is terrifying for them. 
uh, do that. So we'll do that, uh, Lime News Broadcast, and then just the club will flip over and they'll do independent film and shorts, more artistic side of things, for those who wish to, you know, make narratives or incorporate music and image and things like that. Um, we also run a club, uh, I've been working with Mr. Gooder to do a class with the school, because CCTV is a nonprofit that operates, or we're actually separate than the school, but we live here in the school, and we're funded separately, yeah, entirely. And so, we also, uh, we, the bonds between us and the school, we try to keep very strong. And so, we're also, but we're also a resource for the adult community, for the, for, for community members. So if you yourselves have passions to do a program on poetry, or history, or science, or anything, we will help cater politics. We will, a lot of politics we get. Uh, we will help cater to that, and uh, we will you get certified on our gear, and then you can use it as much as you like for free. So. Well, we used to, we, now we get a 19 year old, but I don't know And they also, because they have these issues, they need help with life skills. Yes. Because what we want to do in the time that they're with us, by law, educate um, our students until their 22nd birthday if they don't graduate from high school. So um, this is a, a jump off program for them to get life skills as adults. And, um, Very useful. Yeah. And then they get job skills and they do other things in that program. So Great. It's, it's, wonder, it's a wonderful space for them, much better than their space at the old high school. And, and the hope is, you know, we actually will bring more of our students yeah. back to districts because we can support them. Space. Great. Sounds great. Nice job. Great. Now these are whiteboards. You can write on them because the technology is actually in the pen. And so the pen serves as a mouse on the projection. But you could also take a marker and mark the projection also, which is really great. And then there's sound system in here that's way better so that students can hear. And we also have a sound link system, which we had implemented in the lower grades with um, students with hearing impairment, that the teachers wear a pendant around their neck that amplifies their voice consistently throughout the classroom. And we found that it works so well for all the students that in fact, K through eight, the teachers have that technology and we moved it up to the high school. So this is a whole sort of new technology. The old smart boards in the old building are no longer supported, and, and the cost to move them up to this high school was prohibitive. And so we ended up going with the new technology, this Epson technology. The other thing is, I don't know if, how far you've been in the building, but you'll notice that the furniture here and all the cabinetry, and if you look at the trim outside on the wall there, it's, it's a deeper orange. That's because we're in the west or the sunset side of the building. And so the sunsets in the west, you have those nice orange sunsets, the darker reds were in that part of the building. If you look at the, um, the guide there, you'll see that the lightest portion of the building is the sunrise, when the sun just starts to come up. We're in the lighter part, the performing arts wing. If the middle part, that nice orange full day sun, that's in the middle part of the building and then here in the sunset. So as you wander through the building, notice that the colors will change with everything. Cabinetry, furniture, trim, the floor tiles and the stairwells are different colors for different parts of the building. On the um, south side of the building, you also notice on um, the third floor, there's these panels that stick out. Maybe when you came in, you saw the panels, you thought, oh, that's kind of a cool architectural design. Actually, what it does is it prevents that south sun from coming in and heating up the classroom. It reflects the light into the room, and it dissipates the heat. So again, it helps us with um, our energy efficiency. All lighting in all rooms actually gets adjusted by how much sun there is. And so you use less electricity on a sunny day because we have so much natural light in the building. Um, you know, additionally, in the buildings, if um, if the light, if no one is moving in the room, the lights will automatically turn off. And the whole system of doors is keyed um, centrally on a timer. And so even this morning, for example, when we came in, none of the lights would would go on in the main areas because it was the weekend. And so they were programmed to be off to save electricity. So they can't navigate the regular curriculum. Um, so they, they come and, and this is their space. Um, it's a safe space for them. It's a supported space for them. Here for a tutor. Yes. I was a tutor yeah. here also. Right.
Hopefully you won't have to come here. Better sunlight.